welcome to Linux Help Tutorial. I am going to explain about how to install Black Panther OS 16.1. Black Panther OS is an open source and completely free distribution of Linux and it contains the elements from various operating systems. It uses the graphical configuration tools of Mandriva Linux and it has the desktop environment of OpenSUSC Linux and it also contains the driver management system of ubuntu so it contains elements from various popular distributions it is mostly used in schools and small offices it is mainly designed for the use at work school and home as it contains the applications for common daily tasks such as time management office tools as well as the media playback utilities now we can see the installation of Black Panther OS 16.1. First, you need to download the Black Panther OS ISO from the Black Panther official site. After downloading, make a bootable DVD or pen drive and make it boot. After booting, you will see the following screen. Now give in install Black Panther OS. Now we can see the installation screen has appeared. Now select your language and click next. Now we need to select your location and now select next. Now select your keyboard layout and give next. Now you can see the partitions and you need to select your storage device and then you need to click the manual partitioning and click next. First you need to create the partition table. Now click the new partition table and I'm going to create the master boot record MBI partition. So click OK. Now we can create the partitions. Now select the free space and click create. Now give the size for the boot partition. I'm going to give 300 MB for the boot partition and select the partition type as primary and the file system is ext4 and the mount point is slash boot. Now select the flag as boot and click OK and select the free space and click the create to create the next partition i'm going to create the swap partition now a swap partition i'm going to give 4 gb the swap partition should be the double the size of ram so i'm using the 2 gb ram so i'm giving 4 gb for the swap partition and select the partition type as primary and the file system is linux swap and the flag you can click the swap and click OK. And next we can create the root partition. Now select the free space and now click create. And I'm going to give 15 GB for the root partition. And select the file system as ext4. And the mount point is slash. And the flag is root. Now click OK. Now after creating the partitions, now give next. And now we need to create the users for the system. Right to give user one, and the name of the computer is the host name. So give the host name for the system, and give password for the user. You can untick this to log in with the password. Now click next. Now we can see the summary of the setup. Now click next, and now click install now. Now the OS installation is started. This will take some time. Now the installation is completed. Now tick the restart now and click quit. Now the machine is restarting. Now the machine is booted. Now we can see the login screen. Now enter the password for the user. Now we can see the Panther OS is successfully installed. Here you have the Dolphin file manager on the terminal. I here you have the system settings and you can change your workspace themes here and here's the black panther os network settings here here you have the firewall configuration host file and the vpn connections the proxy and the os system settings you have the bootloader date and clock settings and you can install your drivers using the sound card devices tv tuners etc and you can add your widgets using the add widgets option and add panels and here you have the application launcher to launch your applications and you can see the all the applications are available here you have the games here you have the system monitor 
to view all the processes that are running and here is the system load you can see the C CPU load and the memory the Black Panther OS 16.1 is successfully installed thank you for watching